All right, guys, let's kind of scout along this fence line. Got something right here. Wait a second. It's a Blandings. 100% Blandings turtle. The second it starts to move, I'm gonna literally just gun it. Got it! Got it! Yes! Beyond the shores of Ohio's mainland exist a series of islands that most people have never heard of. No, they are not tropical or lined with elegant white sand beaches, but instead are a unique biodiverse world unto their own. These isolated bodies of land have an incredibly rich history that dates back hundreds of years. And over time, they have also become a refuge for a number of different animal species. Today we are exploring Middle Bass Island, a location that I hold dear in my heart, for it is one of the first places where I practice my animal and adventure video making techniques. There we go, that's a pretty good sized one right there. See those old pictures of me in a straw hat and waders circa 2009? Yup, that's Coyote Peterson looking for snapping turtles in the Middle Bass Marsh well before anyone knew who Coyote Peterson was. This protected wetland is home to a wide variety of creatures. And earlier this year, I made a discovery that was absolutely thrilling, a population of Blanding's turtles. These elusive reptiles have a very limited range within the Eastern United States and are considered to be incredibly rare. My intention is to safely catch and get one of these remarkable turtles up close for the cameras so that we can all learn about this unique animal and why its environment so desperately needs to be protected. Yet as we know, catching turtles is much easier said than done. Where's the turtle? Too deep, too quick. All right, guys, let's kind of scout along this fence line. So in terms of turtles, this is, for you, this is like a rare animal. This is about as rare as it gets for turtles, guys. Their range is so limited. And up here on the Erie Islands is the only place where I have ever seen one. Got something right here, another turtle. Wait a second. It's a Blandings, 100% Blandings turtle. That is the turtle that we are after. All right, Mario, get into position with a shot. Okay. The second it starts to move, I'm gonna literally just gun it. is a Blandings turtle, ladies and gentlemen. One of the rarest turtles in the Northeastern United States. Okay guys, let's set the scene. Come on down here. We're gonna tuck back into the underbrush and get this one up close for the cameras. Oh man, Woo! nice. Wow, what a day for an epic turtle catch. Now, like I was saying, as we were spying that turtle from a distance, the Blandings turtle is one of the rarest turtle species here in Ohio. In fact, the Erie Islands are the only place where I have ever seen this species. Now, I wanna take a good up close look at this turtle so that we can all appreciate it for the perfect reptilian design that it is. Ooh, I'm just so excited right now. That was a tough catch and exactly like I had predicted, the turtle launched off forward and what I did is grapple onto all of the plants, all of the sticks that are beneath the surface tangled the turtle up and then was able to get my hands on it. Now, this is a very docile species. Unlike snapping turtles, they very rarely will bite. Look at this, I can put my finger all the way in by its mouth and all it wants to do is tuck in tighter and start to close up its plastron. Now, let's take a good look at the carapace, which as we know is the top of the shell of the Blanding's turtle. Now, it's not real distinct, but you can see that speckled patterning all along the scutes that are on the body. And it's more distinct on the sides. Let me turn it like this as well. You see that? 
and during breeding season that becomes more bright yellow in coloration. Now let's take a look at the plastron of this turtle. Yellowish in coloration with dark black blotches. It actually resembles the plastron of a wood turtle, which is another species that is similar in size to this turtle. But what's really cool about the blandings is it has a semi-hinged plastron. I don't know if you can see that from the side there, but if I push on a little bit, you see that? It can almost completely tuck into its shell like a box turtle, but not completely, which leaves a little bit of flesh exposed. I imagine that's why they developed all these really tough scales that run along the forelimbs and the hindlimbs. And then of course you have these very sharp claws, and I can imagine that as a predator, that's not something you would want to mess with. Now as this turtle begins to figure out that we are not predators, we are not trying to eat this turtle, it is going to get comfortable, it's going to come out of its shell, and we are going to see just how long those legs and that neck is. Now one of the most distinct signs that it is a Blandings turtle, as compared to any of the other aquatic species here in Ohio, is the bright yellow chin. Now during the breeding season, that yellow coloration is much more elegant. It almost glows bright yellow. And similar to a bullfrog, which as you know, bullfrogs are amphibians, turtles are reptiles, but that bright yellow coloration, there we go, look at the extent of the neck there, wow! Look at that periscoping ability, beautiful. Now what's unique about the body design of this turtle is that you'll see it's very oval in shape. And this is what's considered a medium-sized turtle in the grand scheme of turtle species. But that oval design makes them very aerodynamic in the water, which allows them to move through the dense environment that they're living in. If you point your camera down here, look at all this glop that this turtle is existing in. Dense grasses, duckweed, and sticks. So this turtle can easily climb its way through all this underbrush, and oftentimes you will see these turtles out this time of day, early morning when the sun is just beginning to get towards the noon hour. What they're doing is basking, and this large carapace allows them to soak up the sun, then they'll head back into the water to start hunting for the day. Now what does the Blandings turtle eat? These guys are omnivores, which means they will eat both plant and animal matter. Now they specialize in eating small crustaceans like crayfish, also arthropods like dragonfly larvae, but they have been known to take small fish, baby frogs, and will even feast on the duckweed and the plants that are in the wetland ecosystem. Now when I say this is one of the rarest turtle species in Ohio or in the northeastern United States as a whole, they also range up into Canada. Now they are considered critically endangered in some areas and threatened in others. Now we have caught this turtle that's in a marsh next to a roadway, which is crazy. There's actually a lot of pollution in here, guys. Um, that's unfortunate for the turtle, but it's a good sign that this turtle is thriving. This is actually a very healthy Blandings turtle. We've seen lots of frogs, lots of plants for this turtle to eat, and certainly lots of insects. As far as crustaceans, eh, I don't know that this is the environment for crayfish, but I can tell you that this is one healthy turtle. All right, I'm gonna dunk him down in the water for a second. Want to make sure that the turtle is staying cool. I'm gonna dunk him all the way down and bring him up. And sometimes this is all you will see right there, is just the carapace up on the surface. The turtle can breathe and stay camouflaged at the same time. And notice the speckling on the carapace. This turtle looks just like one of these logs. Look at this, so if I bring this log over here, and both were at the surface covered in duckweed, it'd be very tough to distinguish between the two. So, what would potentially eat a Blandings turtle? Other than river otters and maybe mink, a turtle this size is only threatened by human encroachment. Now what human encroachment means is either the building of roads, the destruction of wetlands, obviously pollution is a threat, but as long as this turtle stays healthy, it is gonna have a very long and happy life. Well, how cool was this? managing to find and catch one of the rarest turtles in the Northeastern United States, the one and only Blandings Turtle. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this turtle go and then help it out by picking up some of the trash in this environment. Throughout my life, I have been fortunate enough to catch a wide range of turtle species, yet none of them have been as rare or meaningful to me as the Blandings Turtle. These beautiful reptiles are constantly under the threat of human encroachment and face an unknown future as to whether or not their species will ultimately survive. To find a healthy population in a remote and isolated place like Middle Bass Island is incredibly promising for an animal such as this turtle. 
and I hope that by sharing this news with the world, we can garner a greater interest for protecting this location and the natural treasures that call it home. If you are an inspiring conservation ranger, make sure to check out this episode where we show you a fun and easy way to help the environment by cleaning up garbage in the wetlands. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales. I'm focusing on a lot of the smaller objects. Um, there's a lot of tiny miscellaneous plastic pieces that could go overlooked, and those are quite dangerous because animals could potentially swallow them if they're kind of bite-sized. 